Gateway to Enterprise in partnership with Polonaise. We actually started out many years ago in 2014 putting on pitching events in London because then you did the circuit in London for pitching and they were amazing founders at pitch then. So I was known for doing great super um, pitching events. Um, and then I sort of, as I moved along in the chain, I realized that I wanted to work with family offices. So I was at a family office event um, I happened to be asked to be a speaker in Monaco in 2017. I went there to be a speaker. I was so nervous. I didn't know anyone in the room. And, uh, you know, I thought, oh my God. And I can remember before going on, uh, a big, a uh, huge family office from um, America said to me, don't say that, Karen, say this. Because this is because I was outside practicing. And I quickly realized that actually what you say with family offices is very different to what you say when in a room with other investors. And then I said, oh, you don't come to family office events in London? They said, well, you're not very good at it there, are you? And I said, oh, I can be, I can be the best. And so it was a challenge. It was throwing down the gauntlet and I love a challenge. And if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna be the best. So in London now, I am informed that we deliver the best family office events in London. So our event this summer on the 22nd of July at the Washington Hotel in Mayfair, we've already got 200 family offices ultra high networks signed up. Uh, we're not quite sure how many we can have, but for a founder, I mean, you know, to be, have that opportunity to actually present to all those investors at one time, genuine, family offices and ultra high network, they would never be able to get that opportunity. So for us, we like to showcase what is in our portfolio. So those are on our Accelerate program, um, some that are in our portfolio, and those that would like to do a presentation for 10 minutes of exactly what they're um, raising for. We're focusing on ESG, impact, sustainable technology, and projects because that's what my family offices ask for and I like to keep them happy. So if someone's raising, you know, for, you know, gold mining or, you know, they're wanting to raise because they've got a new app that's a dating app, no, it doesn't take the boxes for that particular event, but we've got others coming up. We've got the 19th of October and also the 9th of December this year, 2021. Uh, I work for Ticket Pass. Uh, I met Karen at an event in the Accelerator program about a year and a half ago from now. came from doing a crowdfunding campaign. Uh, the relationship started because we were looking now into getting private investors uh, and the pandemic was starting at the same time so it was going to be a challenge. And I said, okay, well, we have two options. Either we go the normal route, you know, leverage, keep going through my network, events, uh, or we just get that additional hand and say, all right, let's catapult this and, and give it a good shot. So decided to go with it. You know, to be honest, there are like plenty of options out there. Like people that claim that they do this and do that. And you're always a bit hesitant. But after chatting with Karen, it's like, okay, well, looks quite passionate. I mean, as a, as a founder, you want someone that actually wants to, you know, go for it. So, okay, all right, let's, let's give it a shot. So I went, everything happened like out of the sudden. I went to one, I met, um, guy, well Matt, and then Matt got me to the event, then the event I met Karen, and then from there everything started uh, going going forward. So through Karen that I met in the Accelerator program, then started working together. Then of course the pandemic started, so we were working a bit remotely. Well, we have met, fortunately, in person, so that gave me like a good feeling about it. Then we started working and it's like, okay, we're going to start the challenge of racing, and it was a new thing for both of us, racing remotely via Zoom, via calls and all that stuff. So that's how she introduced me to this family office. And then we started the entire due diligence process, you know, online. They were based in Singapore. I was based in the UK. And uh, yeah, I mean, a few hours difference, but everything flourished. I, I think Karin is another team member. It's not working for you. It's just working with you. I think it's, and I, and I think I really like something and people who will see and want to be part of the team and not say, okay, you know, this is a transaction, transactional thing. It's like, okay, you want to raise, here's my network, done, see you later. But it's like, no, this is good. And, and I think it's nice feedback as well. When Karen said that, actually, you're a little bit of a 
different founder from the ones that I've, you know, normally get pitched. I actually want to work with you. That kind of gives you the ideas like, all right, well, this does make sense. Like, it's different the, the approach of of getting to other investors.